All right. And uh, I'm old. I'm Miss Deborah today. Tanya. Thank yes, you for being a kid. Toya. Not Toya. 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 Why so did today's I... picture Toya. shout out is Let's Go Toya. Thank you for being a member. We really appreciate it. Uh, it means a lot to us. And yeah, as you can see, we're a hot mess and we haven't even started. So this is going to be a fun episode because we're going to talk about revenge horror. Ooh. And, you know, Ooh. not, you know, the way George's hairline takes revenge on him every day. Yeah. But thankfully, because I've got such blonde hair now, it's starting to just blend in. Oh, you just my lips... bold. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Thank me. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Being part of the community. It's a lovely community. We are so welcoming and wide I, and open. Open. <laughs> I will welcome you with open arms, George. open legs, and welcome and open mouth. <laughs> 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 hmm. But anyways, yeah. So thank you for being a patron member. Welcome to the horror hour. We all go a little mad. We get you. And well, let's just get into the episode. So, hey, welcome back to the Horror Hour. Please, we discuss, we debate, we disagree on all things horror. Uh, I'm one of the hosts here, Yutaka. Hello. And today I am joined by my follically challenged friend, George. How are you, sir? Hello. I'm good, thank you. It's nice to be here. Yes, my follicles are challenged every day, but now I've got gray hair and I can't tell if I look like Eminem or a six-year-old lesbian called June. So I'll take either at this point because um, both is a good shout to me. Well. As long as you don't rap, yeah. we don't care. Um, and then uh, next, I'm joined by my former favorite, Liam. Hello. I'm the former favorite because I no longer tell him he's pretty because he's not pretty. He's ugly inside and out. Oh my gosh. Wait, well, who's your favorite <laughs> now then? Me. None of us. <laughs> <laughs> So Liam I'm... wouldn't let me be Sporty Spice. Damn it. No. Oh, dear. He's not even a spice. He's yeah. too mild. It's true. True. Very true. <laughs> so mild. Mm -mm. He's, more, he's more of a basil. Well, seems you're not his favorite anymore, Liam. Maybe you should get revenge. <gasps> See how that worked out? So today we are going to talk about some of our favorite revenge horror films. Now, uh, I guess I should have classified. There are a couple of ways you could look at this, but too late now because this is all how I always operate. But pretty much you've got either somebody going after somebody like maybe a killer or somebody who did something to them or it could even maybe be a villain who wants to get revenge on a group of people because there are a couple of movies out there like that. That could be fun. Mm -hmm. Um, but that was a last minute drop. Sorry about it. Uh, so I, I think I will go ahead and start about a good revenge horror. One of my, um, I would say it's actually one of my favorites as of, um, uh, recent years. It's a couple of mine are actually born. It's a 2019's The Columnist. Now, I've talked about it a little bit before, but do you guys remember that one? No. no. Oh, okay. Well, beautiful. Even better. This is a basically it, the story centers around a columnist who must continuously deal with the threats and negative comments on her social media pages. And so one day she's had enough George. and she just decides, yep, she decides to hunt down her trolls. Oh, that's a good one. And it kind of we're yeah. horrifying, <laughs> right? <laughs> Sorry, I'm horrifying, but <laughs> somebody's coming after you now. This film is from it's a Dutch film, it's from the Netherlands. Uh, it I don't know if any of you've seen the show called Evil. 
Yes. Yes, I have. Um, Not all of it, so, but yeah. So it's got Katya, Katya Herbers. Mm-hmm. So she's the columnist in this. Ah, okay. Yes. And it is wild because while Real she's story. sitting here trying to go through this entire, um, you know, she's a, a single parent trying to teach her kid, get her kids off social media um, and also kind of like help, you know, show prove to people that she doesn't let these comments get to her. And it's just really funny that once that one comment happens, and she kind of, it, it almost kind of reminds me of like um, Seed of Chucky, where Tiffany's like, I'm not going to kill. I won't kill you. you know, and she says that one slip and it, it's just a huge train wreck. And it is really, it's really good, wonderfully acted. And it's like a dark comedy as well. And these, these kills are vicious. The language, sir? What is it? I said it was Dutch. Okay. Yeah, it's a Dutch film. Thanks. I just didn't remember. I gathered. All of the um, Alzheimer's today. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's definitely one well, I would say... We're if, both old. <laughs> this is actually very true. <laughs> we are. Um, I'm trying to think. I want to say it's... I'm looking up the... T- yeah, it's a quick 90-minute film. Nice. We love Ooh. that. And oh shit, it's on Shutter and AMC Plus, so it's streaming. Accessibility is something that we need more of. Yes, because everything's yeah. very difficult to find. Mm-hmm. God, yeah, I think it is. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll have to check that Good one times. out. You say that about George's Hole all the time. Oh my god, bombastic side eye. Yes. <laughs> And with that, George, what's your first one? So my first one, because obviously it wouldn't be a George list without a found footage film. So I'm going with the 2014 movie Unfriended. Um, oh, but I do like that one. Okay. I really like I'm not that mad film. About that. <laughs> um, I love this film, actually. I I remember after this, I remember going to see obviously going to see the film in the cinema, and obviously, I the film kind of. It does take away a little bit because obviously it's on a massive like Mac screen, so you're kind of looking at that screen and it feels a bit weird. But like it is, I think it's a lot better to That's watch. That's part of the charm, honestly. But I like it, but I love watching it on my laptop because I feel like I'm <laughs> like there. Um, and I remember after it came out, I, all my friends we went with, I was like, "Can we start doing um Skype chats?" And they were like, "No." So I was really <laughs> upset. Um, but yeah, well, I really I like liked... your friends. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate them. They're so real for that. Um, but for those of you who haven't um, seen or heard of it, the little synopsis is that six friends um, get the shock of their lives when they receive a message from their deceased friend while they video chat on Skype. While they think it's a prank, they are soon exposed to some unruly events. And I think it's really good because you never quite know what's going on until the very end. And I think mm-hmm. there's so many little twists and turns that happen throughout the film and the film is only it's not even i think it's like an hour and 20 minutes maybe just over that so it's not a long film so it's not dragged out um which i think is really helpful but it's just a really great film with a good story and i thought the cast was really strong young cast that i i I had a great time with it and i watched it quite a few times it was well reviewed when it came out like i remember when it came out because it was it was done very well i it's it's one i can easily rewatch. i have a lot of fun with it and I agree. I think they all did a great job. I'm not a fan of the sequel. I'm going to tell you that right now. Yeah, I, but I just can't remember unfriended. The much. Yeah, that was good. Look out for Laura Barnes, guys. Um, but yeah, it was a really good film, and I just thought it was a kind of new or interesting way to do a revenge style film that kind of broke boundaries from just like with a little bit of a supernatural element into it. So. Oh. Your favorite, Liam. Um, but yeah, so I'd say my first one is both, unfriended. It's both of my favorites. Yeah, found found footage, footage and supernatural. supernatural. <laughs> Wait, Have you seen it, Liam? Have you seen this one, Liam? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dang. Because I knew it was. I knew it was found footage oh, and supernatural. So I was like, I'm good. not f- watching but, this. You know, from the fact. Fa- oh, it is. It's actually really good, though. I. Oh, dang. That's unfortunate, Liam. I would. It's a good one. Yeah, it is good. So that's my first pick. And if you haven't seen it, I'd recommend it. I think it's still on. And in the UK, it's it's on Netflix. Um, but I think you can also get it on, obviously, like, you know, any 
like YouTube and things. Right, like one streaming dollar. service. Yes, exactly. So yeah, my number one is Unfriended, which is something that happens to me on a daily basis. Every time we start this episode, in episode. Yeah. Because every time uh-huh. we touch, I get this feeling. Feeling, and every time we get this way, I cry. Thank you. Oh, Love it's you. still on Netflix here too, by the way. Oh, okay, amazing. So there you go. Get it on Netflix or Streamberry. And you can also listen to Cascada on your local Spotify. Yeah, or King G. <laughs> mm. <laughs> or Vampire yeah. by Olivia Rodrigo. Oh, I'll get in the bed. You, right, had us, you. you had us, and then you threw us back again. Sorry, I was unfriended mm. with that comment. So you know what? Now that, um, as always, George likes to ruin something, we're going to go to Liam. Liam, tell Hi. us. Welcome to me. first revenge horror. Um, no, I'm, so because David can't be here, I feel like he would slap us all about if we didn't mention this film. And that is Ma. <laughs> yes. True that. Like, now that David's a daddy, we can't be angry on David because he can hit now. He has muscles. Um, <laughs> So, Ma, Octavia Spencer, an icon, a legend. She is the moment. She is every moment. And let's be honest, everyone in that film deserved what they got. <laughs> because if Ma felt like they needed in that and she needed to get that revenge on them, she needed to get that revenge on them. It's as simple as that. Even Luke know. Evans got what he deserved, even though, I mean, we clearly know that was a prosthetic, because no way that man circumcised. Allegedly. <laughs> but no, oh, I love Ma. Ma I'm not so here. Um, <laughs> right, breathe. Done. Um, yeah, like, when like I just I still love the scene where she just runs over Missy, Missy Pyle, Missy Pyle. <laughs> I went I nearly went to say the drag version. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Isn't it like pissy pissy Miles or something? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, sissy. I uh, um. Yeah, I love that scene where she's just get fucking <laughs> like it's great. And then to um, the, do you him- remember? So, yeah, like, I can't really remember. Like, obviously, Luke Evans, um, Christ, I forgot her name again. Juliet Missy Lewis. Pyle, Missy... Oh, yeah, Juliet Lewis is in it as well. As... Oh, yeah. She's not memorable in it. She doesn't really do much. Um, she's just the mother. Alison Janney. Oh, I always called it Alison Janney. Where's Alison Janney in it? She's Octavia Spencer's boss. Uh, oh shit! Yeah, Alison Janey's the one who plays the um the detective in The Girl on the Train, right? Yes, I've not seen that. Yes, film. yes, mm-hmm. that's another yes. Luke Evans movie. Yes, yeah, with pass. Emily Blunt. With Emily Blunt. Oh, I do like her. It's quite. It's pass. it's the films. The films. Mm, I mean, it would have been better if good. they would have sticked to. The, the UK the book, book. Mm. yeah yeah oh well yeah mm. um the no, books sorry. the book's excellent but yeah the ruin the they didn't ruin it but the yeah, it wasn't the well. next gone girl, um, put it that way no they tried now there's mm. revenge um, but, mm. <laughs> uh, so yes Ma everyone loves it I don't think I know anyone that hasn't seen it and thought it was amazing so it had to be on the list and it had to be number one and since David wasn't here to give it its flowers, you did. Oh, All right, I did. Good. Bless oh, you. Thanks. That was a nice one. I know. I'm such a nice person. Love it. Honestly, I think of everyone. All right. So um, I'm going to go with another one, uh, another foreign film. I just, there's a couple good ones out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this one is a French film, which, shocker, I actually did not know this was on Shudder, but it is. Um, and it's aptly titled Revenge. 
Ah. Yes. Not the show. And I feel like oh. uh, that show was fun. I feel like George would like the color because it's got, you know, like the neon uh, pink so. that we like would always use. And basically it's yeah. um, the tagline is never take your mistress on an annual guy's getaway, especially one devoted to hunting. A violent lesson for three wealthy married men. Yeah. Um, there are, Ooh, I mean, I some think Twitter warnings. There, there is definitely some, you know, vi- you know, violent. Uh, well, I think that's yeah. Yeah, that oh, was uh, um, that was it. That was implied. Yeah, this, but this woman, when I tell you, she gives it to them, and it is, she, uh, it, she's not like this. Uh, she, I mean, she also takes a good you know uh beating as well but when i tell you she fights for her life and she makes these men terrified and it's just violent and there is a at a certain point there is a scene where this man is just running around naked and god bless the french for just letting us see it all in their glory just dingle dangle all the way through a good yeah, it sounds like the french 10 15 minute scene um oh wow as this man's just running running for his dear life um but it's actually just a really good film sounds like it's george at every long. house <laughs> yep <laughs> uh it's about an hour 48 minutes it's honestly it's just a very um it's a very satisfying film because again she gets her revenge and it's worth seeing mm-hmm. I'm, it's got some I'm, really nice shots in it too and it is a colorful film and it is very very bloody so you know i love my gore bloody hell you do blood mm. bloody hell governor yep <laughs> and with that um uh, let's go to george okay so my next one i'm gonna do you taka here um mm. it's not really a horror film but um i'm gonna mm. go with the 2009 movie obsessed because i know like uh, with our queen Ali Lata and Beyonce and Idris Elba. I just really like this Bay. film. It's obviously more of a thriller, but I just think it's so a good great. revenge film. I mean, yeah. revenge horror can be a little bit difficult if, if you know, you're just sometimes kind of looking at the same, you know, sometimes what starts revenge horror films. The revenge, so, yeah. 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 Um, But I just really love this film. I rewatched it recently and i still enjoy it. i think it's just a fun film to put on i mean i because you like oh, to pretend you're ali larder oh my god you yeah. know the <laughs> when she's yeah. like that is me yeah, like in the does. bed in, in the bed being like we didn't want you to find out this way that's that me with, is like... you that is you to a t yeah <laughs> i could get into luke evans husband's bed we didn't want you to find out this way um god i hope but... we can edit this in a way so that that's you <laughs> oh. Just in the... <laughs> like, I love I love that film. I think it's great. Um, so yeah, I just think it's fun. It's short and easy, and it's a great cast. I mean, the the writing's not all that, but um, it's you know it, it doesn't help. You you don't go into this film thinking here's this Oscar award winning film, but it's got some great action scenes. Ali Larter and it's Beyonce. Nice. I mean, the whole cast is the gorgeous. The three main people in it are absolutely stunning. I mean, and yeah. but obviously Beyonce is stunning. And the moment oh, when Ali Lata, like is in the car and she whips off the coat and she's got that like pink. Um, oh, she looks just. I just love mm. Ali Lata. I'm so excited to meet Ali Lata in November. I'm gonna be like, I just love you too much. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna say obsessed. And if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. I think that's on Netflix as well. Um. And it's always probably like 50p somewhere because it's. <laughs> 50p it's not um it's not one that's <laughs> aged particularly well oh, nobody's really nobody's buying it it's a bit like um taylor swift's new album um yeah it's on a few oh. things so you yeah. know i don't know why you gotta say stuff like that when you know it's only just gonna invite well you know what i love inviting things like guys adina menzel songs yeah. terrible he invites them into his mouth all the time. I'm a beast. Nobody cares, Adina. You can't sing. So, yeah, obsessed. Thank you. 
Blame. <laughs> this man telling people they can't sing when he's auto tuned the hell out. But anyways, okay, yes, Liam, yours. I still love everything you do, George, darling. Don't you worry. Nasty grandpa can't hurt you anymore. Thank you, Pet. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You say that, um, then he comes so... to your musical artist, and you say, Mm-mm, this is why we can't defend you, George. Or, yeah. you know, not knowing who or for when my... Einstein was up... living. I can stick up for myself. I'm not going to stick up for, every... for you. <laughs> I've got to play all the fields here. Um, (laughs) So the next one I'm going to pick up with is a new one, newer one. I I believe it came out this year. Ooh. I mean, you have a thing called IMDb, so. I do. I don't want to. Um, And I'm going with the menu. Oh, that is Last year, but yeah. Was it last year? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah, it was. We um, Christmas. I thought it was. It was nominated it was like for, or they thought did it get nominated for an Oscar, or if they thought it would. But anyways, yeah, no, it was last year. Oh, you know, um, so yes, I'm going with the menu. It was a very surprising film, shall we say? I don't think anyone truly went into the menu knowing fully what we were going to get. Yeah. And we got a lot. We ate well with the menu. Mm, we did. <laughs> um and just every turn, so many surprises, so many twists. And such good acting across the board. I mean Hong um, Chow stole the show. I'm oh totally. Totally. Hong Chow and um Anatolia Anatolia Joy. Yeah. Oh God. Um. Nicholas Holt was just the. Oh my God. The tortilla side (laughs) scene. So, (laughs) so funny. One of my favorite scenes. Um. Yes. No. Also, one of my favorite scenes. Um. I also really liked um, like just how creepy Nicholas Holt was, even though he like. He was no no I. Ugh. It was I uh, that was it was like it was just a, a proper sleazy creep. And it was marvelous. It was marvelous to watch. Um I'm assuming everyone's seen the menu by now. But if you haven't, it's on Disney Plus. Or in the States so, too. Or or no Max uh, still as well, too. So it's uh, on a whole bunch. Oh yeah, because of that deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's worth um, it. Like if you haven't seen it, or if you have not seen the menu you should see it yeah i am choosing one that also came out last year and this is one wow i'm trying not to be basic and pick everything that's on shutter right now my my final pick is not and but this was really good um this is an anthology series and it's a sequel as well and it's Ooh. Mm-hmm, it's 2022's scare package 2 Rad Chad's Revenge. Revenge is even in the title. And, well, let's... I'll just give you the little breakdown. Also, you don't have to see the original, the first one. You can. I'm just saying you don't need to in, for the whole revenge element. But, so when horror guru Rad Chad Buckley's funeral turns into an elaborate series of hilarious death traps, the guests must band together and use the rules of horror to survive this bloody game. So what I really enjoy about this film is really it's the revenge plot is kind of like the wraparound story, the one that's connecting everything, not really no. necessarily what's in the um each anthology or each uh ep- or I guess not episode, but each segment. Uh but it is really funny. It's got some great prosthetics. Uh Jed Shepard's one of the directors. Prosthetics. Mm-hmm. Does it have good press beneath it? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's got really the entire cast of Host. Yes. Yes, he he managed to get all of them back for his segment. And it's got the, um oh, Shayna Shruton, um, the other lead in Revealer. She's in one of the segments. Ooh. Yeah, no, the cast is really fun. And uh, it is really freaking hysterical. It's got Kelly Marooney. 
um uh, who's also a horror icon um but yeah it's it's just it was such a it was not one i expected and when it came out and i watched it i go oh this is this is really funny uh, i know um some didn't like it so i'm just fair fair warning there's some out there who weren't a that fan is, that is the that is the nature of art and just fyi if you don't like something don't tag the directors and those you know tweets <laughs> the columnists might find you but anyways no but i i really did <laughs> i thought the humor was hilarious they had some also surprise cameos and um it made me With feel that little boy because, from youtube because there is uh you know a scene where it takes place in a um a vhs store i felt it huge yeah i thought you were going to say in a beer factory and i was going to be like yes that is your home That'd be nice. It's called a brewery, but you know. Maybe I was going to say, come on, Lee. I know that. I was taking the piss. Because even I don't drink it. He said it made it. He said it made us. He said it made him feel like he he was at home. Like it would be a home. Which would be still a brewery. Oh. Ruin the joke. Well, a good joke. So, anyways, um, yeah, check it out. It's a good one. It's on Shudder. George. Yes. Would you like me to go? I let sure. them tits free. So my next one is a film that came out last year also that we covered on the channel. Um, I think last May. And it is a movie called Unhuman. Um so basically the basis of this story is that it's a group of teenagers who go um they're out on a field trip and then all of a sudden they encounter um a zombie apocalypse that just seems to happen um, on their way. So they're like, oh my God, damn. And it's sort of the story of these people trying to survive through it and um, the trials and tribulations of of teenage life. Uh, But obviously I don't want to, there's a lot that happens in that film. Yeah, you can't really talk about it. Yeah, I can't talk about the revenge (laughs) side of it, but let me just say that, um, yeah, you'll, it's got a lot more to it than just a normal zombie movie. Um, And so, I would recommend you check it out. And then when you have, you can message me and say, now I understand what you mean when it's a revenge. Uh, <laughs> Until then, I can't explain it, but I will say that I had a good time. Is it the best I've ever seen in the world? No, but I had a lot of fun with it. It was a nice, easy, it was a Highly good film. entertaining. And it's also yes. a quick watch too. It's yes. under 90 minutes. Yeah, it is. Um, good time, so then. I would highly recommend it. It's just like a really fun, because I never type of like those type of films but i really enjoyed unhuman to be honest so i know it takes everything to get you to watch something new so we're always happy when you yeah when you enjoy it. and it's also on prime it's on prime amazing so get on get if you haven't got prime then why aren't you why aren't you feeding jeff bezos's billionaire life get on it now um and yes. go and watch on please feed his life yeah and then come back and feed ours on patreon and tell me why you enjoyed it <laughs> ah so yeah um unhuman go check it out fun time like and definitely for the summer as well i'd say like now during the summer months like it it kind of gives me summer vibes because i think it's set like around like summertime so i think it'd be quite like a summer camp vibe it's not yeah i guess i I don't think it was necessarily summer i think it was but i could see that i mean i feel like it's quite the film's quite light and like you know like it feels brightly lit yeah it's it's in the day spring yeah no i totally get it i get where you're going with that so yeah, I would say that for my next one. Unhuman 2020. Why don't you spring into action and subscribe to the channel if you're not? <laughs> Put them and ring the notification bell. <laughs> and comment down below some of your favorite revenge films. Yeah. Um, but uh let's go to Liam. Hi, the ginger hairy ones time again. I am going to go with another it's well, it's not recent recent but it is last couple of years mm-hmm. um and it's a film that i don't think we talk about enough on this channel for how good it was Shocking. and that is the invisible man <gasps> oh Ooh, yes oh, oh, that's such a good one yeah that was so well done the mm-hmm. way everyone when they announced they were doing a remake of the invisible man Everyone was just a bit like, give it a give it a rest, Universal. Like all of your previous attempts at rebooting this monster universe have failed. 
just give it a rest. <laughs> and then it came out and we were like, maybe don't give it a rest. <laughs> maybe take this modern twist on other ones as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was so unexpected. So well done. I, to this day, will always remember that uh, restaurant scene. <laughs> the sister. That scene's so good. It is <laughs> so good. So yeah. memorable. So out of left field. And just something new that we hadn't seen. Mm-hmm. Um, so that is why, even though there is a Scientologist in it, I will support it. <laughs> <laughs> he says that yeah he's a huge fan of the mission impossible franchise mm-hmm. so let's doubt- like back up but again that's a, oh. it's like Ooh, if it's you're... a good film i will separate art well, from i always was gonna if say you watch film, cheers but i, I don't watch. know if you watched cheers so i didn't watch cheers veronica's closet no who are we talking, talking? about Kirstie Alley, the only other. Oh, uh, Kirstie famous. Alley. But I yeah. met Tom Cruise and he was lovely, so I don't care. Allegedly. See? He was very Allegedly. kind to me. He was, was he hooded? No, not the beginning. No. I mean, and he was wearing, <laughs> I mean, you were carrying those ice cream cones. And he said to me, he was like, no, that's mm-hmm. what I'm talking about. And I was like, you talking about the ice cream, Tom? No. <laughs> and, he, and, and he laughed. Anyway, he was just probably shocked at somebody taller than him yeah and with less hair he was like how is this possible <laughs> true I should, I should have said can you pay for me hair transplant please but yeah no, no i really loved um the invisible man oh my god Same. that house yes oh i love goodness. a house beautiful and aldous yeah. hodge also so beautiful i would like to lick him Okay. Well, that's a good one. Um, you know, <laughs> twist, I've, twist I, and lick, twist and lick. Oh, oh my god! My okay. god! Wow! You know, like when the ice cream's dripping, and you've got a twist and lick. I tend to have mine in a tub now because I just can't be dealing with the dripping. So, anyways, yeah, I'm gonna move on to my last pick. Um, I figure, you know, I don't know if this is a film that you guys would have watched, it would have been on your radar. I remember when it was announced. Probably it... not. Huh? You said probably not. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't see you guys enjoying this film or like it, it being on your radar in a sense. But right now it is on Peacock. So, hey, you don't have access yeah. to that. You yeah, don't I even know. have it. <laughs> um, This came out in 2020, Um, which, well, uh. You know, it well basically this one's called The Hunt. Uh we've this seen go- it. I love it. Of course we've seen that oh, one. I didn't My know. God, oh, yes. Down. Calm down. I was about to say calm down public school, but you're not, even though you just need more school. Uh George. But the hunt was just something I really loved because when it initially was going to come out, everybody thought it was going to be you know, because again, it was originally going to be right, you know, um, before the election. Uh, people thought it was going to be like this alt right when actually it was more um, making fun of the alt right. It was definitely more alt left, even though it was definitely a huge, you know, gun control, all this. But it was actually really funny. And I loved Betty Gilpin in, and her accent in this is wild, in my opinion. Um, yeah. but I also love Hillary Swank because she is so good in this too. And so if you don't know, the hunt is 12 strangers wake up in a clearing. They don't know where they are or how they got there. They don't even know why they've been chosen. But for well, I'm sorry, they don't know they've been chosen for a very specific purpose, and that is the hunt. And it is hilarious and it's ultra violent. Super fun, and you get a quick cameo from why can't I remember Madison Montgomery? Emma, Emma Roberts, Emma Roberts, Probably, yeah. yeah, super quick yeah. cameo, but it yeah. was still really funny because super. Damn, I thought I was like, I did not see that coming. <laughs> I was quite upset when I know you were, <laughs> <laughs> but 
but it, it it's it's a good you know it's definitely hey it's a good revenge horror comedy and i no, it's you know, I, i'm fully full agreement with you i was so surprised with how much i enjoyed that film mm-hmm. and i bet you um I bet you Chrishell was really happy when justin hartley was <laughs> he got what he deserved Yes, Mia. He did. If only he could get what he deserves in real life. After what he did to that poor Chrishell. Well, I don't know who any of these people are, but sure. Yeah, she's <laughs> doing just fine. But yeah, so um, that would be my last pick. So, she's from uh, Selling Sunset, darling. Uh, so, George, tell hmm. us, do you have a final pick? I do. Um, another recent film that was just like, I think because I didn't, I knew it was coming out, and but I didn't really look into it. So when I watched it, and I was watching it on the train home um, from coming back to London from my parents, and I was just like, this is just so good. And the movie is sick um, because... You busted. Oh, sorry. That was my last pick. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, mate. Um, because, also yeah, on Peacock. Also on Peacock. Um, because it was just like... But obviously, I'd I'd heard about it coming out because everyone was talking about obviously Kevin Williamson, and I was like, oh my god, great. yeah, obviously, I Liam and I kept talking to you about it. Yeah, but I watched it when we got as soon as we got the screen at. I actually watched it before Liam, so oh, that's, that's not... right. Sorry, I had it the other way around. Yeah, um, and so I just love that film. I thought what I love sometimes is just like a really small cast that are great. I think that just makes a film so good. And talk about fantastic writing obviously top tier with Kevin, the story, the twists, the turns, obviously it is a slasher movie for those of you who don't know that takes place around COVID when um, two friends head out to their, one of their parents' lakeside houses to enjoy time um, self-isolating. Um, and a somebody comes a knocking that's not to be a knocking. And we um, just, and also chase scenes galore. Well, chase like, half hour <laughs> so good also was... that house is also equally oh, as gorgeous gorgeous all the wood i loved it um mm. i love big open plan like lodges like that so that film to me was just fantastic the the twists that were in it were really good i like the idea because i wasn't sure going into it what the sort of obviously it is a slasher but what the element would be at the end and so but i really enjoyed it i, I didn't think it was that far-fetched and i thought it was very of the times as well so if you haven't seen it really you should go and check it out and again it's... obviously it's a slasher yes it is a slasher did i not say just in case anybody wants to know it is a slasher <laughs> um because it's kevin williamson and oh god it's just so good it's just really good and i i watched it again recently and i was like oh, it's just a fun time can we talk about one thing from that movie that is really hysterical sure and it's in the very beginning it, okay. So when that person's like, "Ooh, cute button," eh, eh, I mean, come on, we're like, "Where?" Oh, yeah, there's nothing like, good on that. Huh? Them. What? That thing was like yeah. flat as um, a you pancake. Were, you were caught up in a lie. <laughs> yes. I'm like, come on, you guys couldn't like get the budget, like uh, pack it up a little bit or something. I was like, ah. I put in some co- so some like sofa cushions. Do something exactly. Yeah, but that and made there's... me laugh. I was like, "Oh, okay." That was fantastic. And then another scene that I like. Again, I won't say what happens, but the scene um in the car, like halfway through the film, <laughs> and obviously it's set during COVID, so like the just this, <laughs> honey, have you got a mask? Like, was just one of the best moments. So I honestly recommend you should see it. You know, and also fantastic opening as well. Like, I. I said no offense. Like it's... Screen Five, Screen Five could never. Like it was, it was the opening and Screen the Four could never too. But hey, excuse look Screen where we're at. At least Screen Four had chase scenes. That's Screen funny. Five, they were like, "Oh, here's a corridor. Let's just walk down it." So yeah, um, I would recommend this film. Kevin Williamson proves why he is an iconic writer in slasher. And yeah, go and see it. Watch it if you haven't. And if you have watched it, go and watch it again because it's worth it. Thank you. Mm. Agreed. Since it was my last pick, and you. <laughs> well, is there anything that I that I that you missed that I even missed? a little munchkin? 
Um, I do have another one. That's why I was I was like quickly like <laughs> typing away like what else? Um, so I'm going to go with American Mary from 2000. Oh well, my god, yes, that's a good um, one. That's from the Soska sisters, right? And it's got a uh, body horror. It is a body horror, mm. yes. And yes, Catherine it is Isabel. Jan Sylvia Soska mm. with Catherine Isabel, yes. Um so obviously it is classified as a body horror. However, there is a revenge aspect to it. Um, so I'm going to pick that as my final one. Um, but because this is so last minute, I am having to try and think of this on the off the top of my head. Um, so yes, she is a body surgeon. I've just uh, quickly loaded the Wikipedia page as we t- as we chatted. Um, <laughs> IMDb is right. I remember there. it, but like I, I'm old. I need my memory were drugged. Um, yeah, she's a medical student. She applies for a job, like patching people up in a stripper club. Um, and then gets into doing back alley body modification. Um, through helping someone at the club. Things escalate, her medical things happen in the medical world, and she somehow needs to take revenge. It's as you Taka said before, if it's gonna be a revenge horror with a woman, it's just, mm. well, mm-hmm. it's still a good film, even though that as that aspect is in it. Everything else makes up for it. Being, everything else being so good about it makes up for it being yet another situation. Yeah, I, I mean, because you've got your classics out there, too. Because, I mean, I could have said, which, you know, I spit on your grave, classic. Like, the mm. original's good. The remake yeah. was good, too. I don't know about the sequels. And then, of course, the original Last House on the left. You know. Harry. Yep. Harry. Awesome. Yeah. And I really enjoyed the remake of that as well. I don't know if that's controversial, but I thought it was fine. The remake of what? Harry. Harry. The one with um Michael um, Rooker? Chloe Chloe, Chloe, Chloe Grace Chloe Moretz and Gretz Julianne and Moore. Julianne Moore. Are you saying Carrie? Harry. Harry, yeah. What did you think? Oh, I, was I thought you said Harry. No, Carrie. I, I'm, I'm, the, so, I'm Carrie. so sorry. Carrie. The Stephen oh King's God. Carrie. Um... You need to say it in an American accent. <laughs> no, you just need to I, pronounce I, I, the C. I was we saying We did Carrie. pronounce the C. If he could hear it, I was looking... you just weren't listening, man. I thought you said Harry. That's why I'm like, what? And you're like, yeah. Well, yeah, because you, you, when you first said it, I was like, oh, that did sound a little bit like Harry. So I went, C? Harry. Because he looked confused. Yeah, because I, I was like, And I thought he got Michael it when Walker? I did it. But then, no, he got like confused. He just stayed confused. Right, no, carry <laughs> Alzheimer's. What are you going to do? <laughs> the original's great. Obviously, iconic <laughs> forever. But I also enjoyed the remake of Carrie 2 as well. See, we... when you over pronounce, when you, when you over pronunciate the C mm. so, so we can understand it, sounds like you're saying like Harry with a, with a K. <laughs> sounds like you're turning Carrie into a Kardashian. <laughs> Harry, Harry, and we all know that it's a sequel to Matilda, which is the first film. And when Matilda grows up, she changed her name to Carrie, and that is that. This honey has a mental breakdown and turns yeah. into her mom. Yeah, because she turns to religion. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm the, fully with you. The same yeah. way that Macaulay Culkin, uh, Kevin McAllister, becomes Jigsaw. It's all related, guys. Mm. And what about that awful Matilda movie with the horrible yeah. dancing? Actually, the dancing's good. It's just a horrible movie. I just hated the. I hated the musical. Like, everyone loves it. I keep getting invited to it because I, I know somebody works. And I'm like, do you want to come? And I'm like, absolutely not. Thank you. Well, I mean, to be fair, you're also like, I didn't like Heather's, but I love the musical. Love the musical because the musical story is so much better. Well, than a lot film. of people, a lot of people don't like the original Heather's, but like the musical. Mm. That isn't that isn't an 
to be fair to George on the one time, that isn't something he didn't even know the movie existed. Character. <laughs> well, yeah, a lot of people don't. A lot of people now think it's a musical. Some of us don't it's live just in the so 80s. popular. Okay, you could say that, but some people are still knowledgeable of films before you know their time. Liam is. I'm also a lot older than George. <laughs> I know, but if we were to say something like George again, when were you born? 1995. Mm -hmm. We could say something in 1990 and there could George be like, hmm. So. Well, I've seen Hocus Pocus and that we was 1993. We could say something in 1980. We could say something mm -hmm. in 1985 and I would go, huh? Just saying. Then I just want to be me. I just want to live my life. Yeah, I'm not getting involved. <laughs> I'm not hurting anyone watching the same film 25 times. Let me live. <laughs> Lee. Hello. I'm just going to choke on me, drink. That would have been entertaining. Just watching uh, me die. <laughs> no, Welcome, I, YouTube. You spit it out, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> at the horror uh, hour we, we take care of our own yeah we just watch them die then take the video edit it and upload it <laughs> well it's what we would have wanted capitalize <laughs> yes yeah. like, make that money up do it for body. me I tell my friends all the time I'm like I know nothing special but if I die you better get that book deal out you better get absolutely like coping with grief with like that's what I would do when one of them died so I'd expect them to do the same for me. Likewise for you too. I'm going to write a book. My time with the horror hour. All the peer pressure that I was forced to do. <laughs> I had, I'm going to have one chapter called Suspiria and why it was mentally scarring. <laughs> not Suspiria, please. That music. Please, no. Not again. Why? <laughs> Pretended that I was forced to watch it like like a clockwork orange. <laughs> I was tired to my bed. <laughs> it was all your tacker. It was all a dream. Not my fault you can't appreciate good horror. We you can. also but well let's let's put it out there though you immediately were turned off because of the dubbing was so bad you are you automatically as soon as that which i agree that was jarring but you immediately were like oh the dubbing oh god I, like you are ready you went in with like that attitude it wasn't a good film mm. just because something's my last old turn, doesn't mean it's good there it is Said every person that's been with you, Tagger. <laughs> it's in the toad, does that mean it's good? Mm -mm. Ah. <laughs> I'll read a <laughs> I know you didn't just come for Halloween, George. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I've come for all the time. What's new? <laughs> I know, but it, it definitely didn't get, like, that was just, uh-huh. You just had to say it out there. Okay. So rude. So hateful. Yeah. I don't know what it ever did to you. It ended the episode. <laughs> it did. And it still didn't take the hint. I know. Come on, you Shaka. George, you normally take us out. You know I Do can't I? remember everything. Oh my god, Jesus. Milligrams. Let's move on. Okay, three, two, one. And on that note, guys, I don't know why he does the whole three, two, one. Like he, girl, just say it. Because the same way that you go when you're about to talk, like we're not in a primary school assembly. Like, what's this? 
But guess what? I still keep Praise going. The Lord. Yeah, and guess what? One, two, three. And Bang! thank you very yeah, much bye, for bye. watching, guys. Thank you so much. One, two, three. And one, two, three. So much for watching, guys. <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to let us know in the comments below some of your favorite revenge horror films or just some revenge films in general that you think kind of bleed in thrillers, anything like that. Because God knows I haven't seen most of them. Uh, I won't see them, but it's nice of you to let me know that they exist. So thank you so much. So um, and if you that do- we can. You know, it broaden our horizons. Yeah, L- Liam and <laughs> Liam and you tackle watch them, and they'll tell me about them, and then I'll go. Okay, so yeah, and that's how so I much. learned about how, about American Mary. It was thanks to one of our viewers. You see, guys, constantly you did it again, constantly raising the bar. So thank you so much. And if you'd like to see a little bit more of us, then head over to our Patreon. Links in the description below. You can get access to so much. Oh, oh my God. What the hell was happening out there? Um, you get access... well, you, said, you said that we're going to see a little bit more of me. I was like, oh, what? God, nobody wants to see that. <laughs> it's something showing. Um, you can get access to early access to our main episodes, also access to the After Hours podcast and also watch alongs and live streams. So do head over there. We have we watch a film at the end of every month, which is chosen and picked by our patrons. So if you haven't already, get yourself over there and you can vote on what we see next. And if you don't want to do that, that's absolutely fine. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram. We are at the Horror Hour TV. But if you don't want to do that, please just feel free to give us a like comment here. And if you haven't already, you're watching this somehow, give us a subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode or video. And on that note, thank you so much to you, Taka. Thank you so much to Liam. And thank you so much to you all for watching. It's been a pleasure. And until next time, guys, see ya. You have been listening to the horror. See you next time.